Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel Educator Jeevan. Today we are coming with the next video to help the students, to help the teachers and the educators to make their job quite easier and effective. In today's class, we will be discussing about how to balance the chemical equation using fate simulation. This simulations help all the educators and all the students to teach balancing chemical equation in a very easy and effective way. Before jumping to the lesson, if you guys love my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the upcoming educational videos. And moreover you just don't forget to give me a comment in the comment box below okay now let's go to the today's topic balancing chemical equations and one more thing i will be giving the link for this in the description box below after watching this video till end you can go to the link and you can keep doing or playing the game of balancing chemical equations yourself let's start let just click in the introductions you'll this window will get pop out after that here you are supposed to do the balancing things like you have the three options here make ammonia separate water molecule add combust methane molecule you just burn the methane molecule so let's go with the make ammonia and one more thing you can even see here there's a tool over here yeah I, it, it's a balance over there or uh, yes you can even use this one i love this one because it will able you'll able to count the number of atom in the right hand side and the number of atom in the left hand side first of all let's add one each one each one nitrogen molecule one hydrogen molecule and one ammonia molecule while doing this you can see at the top over here these two nitrogen molecule on the left hand side and two hydrogen sorry two hydrogen atom on the left hand side and again two are nitrogen and two hydrogen atom on the left hand side sorry people for mis misunderstanding and on the right hand side you can see the one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atom and my simple tricks to all the students to all the educators a simple tips can make can make your balancing job easier if you just follow the my tips then it could be really helpful for you to do the balancing chemical equations you know a very simple tip that is always focus in the odd number of atom just focus in the odd side just in this making ammonia molecule you can see there in the right hand side there is one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atom right that means both are odd so you need to add one ammonia molecule from here if you just click over there you have two ammonia molecule now it gets even after doing this after making the odd number of atoms on the right hand side to even now just to go to the left hand side see here in the left hand side there is ammonia sorry in the left hand side there is nitrogen molecule and hydrogen molecule you can see that there is two nitrogen atom and two hydrogen atom but if you see compare with the right hand side there is two nitrogen atoms so you don't need to add the nitrogen atom nitrogen atom is already it's balanced but now your job is to balance hydrogen atom let's add next hydrogen atom that's sorry next hydrogen molecule by adding the next hydrogen molecule on the left side you can see that there is a four hydrogen atom so still it's not balanced still the you can see the sign here yeah it's not equal to over there now 
just go one more okay now you get the call sign and the smiley face as well that means now you're able to balance the chemical equations of making ammonia molecule i hope you guys understand the idea right how to balance i already give you a tip always focus in the odd side if you first you focus in the odd side either it is in the left hand side or either it's in the right hand side either it is in the reactant sides or either in the product sides just go for the odd word at first and remaining things will get automatically balanced keep on doing balancing i hope you understand how to balance making ammonia let's try with the next different one let's separate the water molecule again here also you can go for the tools i you can even go for balancing these tools or you can go to this one i love this one so i, I prefer to go with this one because it will show the number of hydrogen number of oxygen atom on both the reactant and the product sides so firstly i like to go for one water molecule and one hydrogen molecule and one oxygen molecule by doing so see here in this equations at the top also you can see that on the product side there's two hydrogen atom there's two oxygen atom and similarly if you come to the left hand side or the reactant sides then you can see that there is two hydrogen atom and only one oxygen atom i already give you a tip in the previous balancing equation previous making ammonia equation that if there is a odd one try to make it even first okay let it make let's add one more water molecule while adding one more water molecule now you can see that you are very close to the balanced chemical equation right now you can see here on the left hand side on the reactant side there is two oxygen atom in the left hand in the right in the product side also you can see there is only two oxygen atoms so oxygen atom are balanced you can check the hydrogen atom there are four hydrogen atom on the reactant side but there is only two hydrogen atom on the right hand side or the product side so it's a better to add one more hydrogen molecule wow see the smiley face and see the equals sign that means our equation is balanced this simulation i think make your job quite easier in balancing the chemical equations similarly you can go with the combust methane after doing that you people can you know the idea about the balancing things so now after understanding these ideas you still keep go for playing the games in your game either you can go for your timing things or you can make a sound on it's, uh, it's your choice of setting so you can go to the label one just click in the label one now exactly the same way how i talked to you previously you work in the same way i know that you guys will able to balance it right let's go for one one and one each at the first time right i already told you the odd one see the odd number of atom you can see on the product side there is only one oxygen atom now your job is to make it even i already told you right that's a very easy tip right it's not hard yes immediately when you go for making it even now you can come to the reactant side you can see there these are two oxygen atom here is also one and two oxygen atom that means oxygen atom is already balanced now you can see there in the product side there is a four one two three four nitrogen atom and in the reactant side there is two nitrogen atom just add one more now you can even count the numbers of this small spherical ball or the representation of atoms you can count here it's a four nitrogen atom on the left hand side and four nitrogen atom on the right hand side 
Similarly, the two oxygen atom on the left hand side and the two oxygen atom on the right hand side. Now you can check your answer. You just click. Ooh, you're able to make it balanced. You're correct here. Similarly, you can go to the next option again. Here also, what you need to do first job is go for one, one, and one. The one molecule of everything, right? Just in this case also, you can see here number of carbon atoms. Which which one is the odd side? Just check the odd side. Okay. You see here, like this equation seems like balancing so far. Don't fall in trick, right? See, just see here. There is one oxygen atom on the left hand side. Similarly, the one oxygen atom on the right hand side. So no worries right and you can see here one oxygen in this orange color and one oxygen in this orange color right so carbon it's in gray color one carbon atom is here and one gray car carbon atom on the right hand side that means one carbon one carbon you can go for the hydrogen there are one two from the hydrogen molecule similarly from here as to o ch2 o you can see one two that means in total on the left hand side there are four hydrogen molecule sorry four hydrogen atoms and if you if you go to the right hand side you can see there is a three hydrogen atom one here that means four again one two three four you can even see in the diagram yeah it's balanced already right it's already in balance so just check it out Ooh, again, you're able to make it correct, people, right? It's a really interesting game to play. I'm enjoying it, right? I hope you guys will also enjoy this interesting game of balancing chemical equations. You can learn on playing and playing and playing with all the chemical equations, right, people? Let's go to the next one more. Okay, you guys already know how to do it. First of all, you need to put one one molecule, one one molecule of each reactants and product, right? And see the earth side. If you just see the earth side, then you'll able to make it balance, right? You can see here there is an O. It's like nitrogen and oxygen. It's odd here. I want to make it even, right? If it is, when you make it even, you can see here on the right hand side, there is only one nitrogen, which is in blue color. So I want to add one more. See here, after doing this, you can see the blue atoms. There is two nitrogen atoms on the left hand side and similarly two nitrogen atoms on the left hand side. That means nitrogen atom is balanced. Now let's check with the oxygen. Oxygen one, two, three, four, like an orange bulb on the left hand side. In the right hand side also, or the product side also, one, two, three, four. That means you can count the bulbs, small spherical bulbs in the chart over there, and you can check out whether the equation is balanced or not. If you follow the tips that have given the very very important tips first of all go to the earth side if you do these things then definitely it will be very very much easy to balance the chemical equations so let's check whether this is correct or not let's check Ooh, again i make the correct answer that means there are lots of label one two three you guys keep just watch this video properly till the end after that yes go to the link that i will giving you in the link in the description below and keep working keep playing with all the equations i hope this video is helpful to you if so once once more don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you love this video give me thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well for the upcoming educational videos. Thank you, everyone. I will see you all in the next video. Take care, people.